Hello everyone. Okay, I'm sorry. I haven't uploaded in a minute. You know, it's a problem when your own dad comes into your room and asks you why you haven't uploaded a video. But I understand that if my own dad asks me, you haven't uploaded a video in three days, when's the next upload? It's a problem, but sometimes I really forget that I have a channel, but I'm back. Can I tell you why I'm lacking on uploads? Do you really want to know? Look at the time. It's 6. 21 p.m. 6 21 p.m. And I just woke up took a shower and I'm doing my makeup now I had my breakfast my mom just came back from work and her daughter woke up to eat some Instagram baddie avocado toast breakfast Just think about, think about it. My life is falling apart guys. I slept at 2 a.m. And I woke up at 5 p.m. That's 15 hours of sleep Not even a giant whale would need to sleep that long, but I did so I don't know how I'm capable to do that We don't have a lockdown here anymore. Thank the Lord. It's been lifted But can I just say even though our city is free kind of free People are still choosing to stay home, which is really good. I am going to Depresso Cafe, get some donuts. I'm craving them for so long. And the last time I went there, they were closed. So I asked Elisa, like, bro, what's what's happening? She's like, hey, it's, it opens at 7 p.m. So do you want to, like, pick me? We can go have some. I'm like, yeah. So I'm going to drive meet Elise. Guys, I have some juicy story time for you. Are you ready? If you're watching this with your kids, lock them up. And if you're watching this with your parents, throw them off too. Because I have some juicy topic that I want to talk about. I, I want to preface this by saying, I have never, ever, ever, ever been hit on by a boy. Ever. Ever. Let's hear that again, okay? I have never been hit on by a boy. I talk about creepy men hitting you up and like, you know, following you, catcalling and all that in one of the videos. And for some reason, that video hit a lot of, it crossed half a million views. I didn't expect that. It was just like a basic hair color tutorial and it blew up and I received so many condescending comments saying that oh she thinks she's so hot <laughs> that's why she's sharing these stories when I share rapey or catcalling stories it's never to flatter like oh, I'm like really hot it's never the point of the story Jesus I don't know how insecure some people are but I promise you it's not to flatter myself because these men are ugly if it's Zayn Malik or I don't know Brad Pitt following me yeah I'm trying to share that story just to show off how attractive I am but this is how the men look so I went to an all-girl high school, kind of. The boys were in the other section, like another block. And they could have still like, come up and said hi and blah, blah. And I've still never been hit on. I went to university, never been hit on again. So I just want to clear that out. But my friends and I were talking about this before. Like, I don't know what it is, but I've been hit on by old men and married men more than boys my age. I've even told this to my mom. I'm like, mom, like no guy at uni goes like, hey, fuck, sexy, you want some fuck. It's never a teenage guy or the guy in the 20s. It's always been old guys or guys who are married with kids. Can we talk about men? who walk with their wives and they stare at you your wife's right there I might want to catch the drool that's dripping out of your lip I'm going on a tangent I again I, I have the story time that I really want to share what happened to me when I was really young but again I keep like going back and forth but anyway let's get into today's video so the Instagram model that I am so yeah girl posting her Instagram stories as per usual gets a message from a Bob vegan guy <laughs> if you've been here before you know what a Bob vegan guy is Obviously. D did you think it was gonna be some cute blonde guy with blue eyes? Uh-uh. <laughs> okay, do you remember on Twitter I posted that, oh my god, it's celebrities in my DMs. <laughs> the most popular TV show on Netflix. And I got DM'd by guess who and uncle. Trying to make babies and settle my life, but the worst, the worst kind of celebrities hit me up. Okay, ladies, I don't know why I can never stick to a story time. Where do I begin? Yeah, girl just posted her innocent story on Instagram. My last Instagram picture is of Polaroids of me and my dad in like LA. And for some reason that triggered this guy and he DMs me. And usually how it works is if you're new here and if you don't have a vagina and you're like, how does this work? How do girls get DMs? I'll explain this to you. We upload a selfie and you have 10 DMs. I have better pictures you're gonna hit me up with, but I post a Polaroid picture and this guy got into my DM so let me let me read it out to you so he said halo then I said halo back <laughs> and then I quickly took a screenshot of that and then I also went to his profile I took a screenshot of that as well so this is his name it's Philip I'm gonna leak that out and his bio this is where it doesn't even make sense so he says the secret of a happy marriage is finding the right person I was blessed with her and my journey started so his name engagement ring emoji and then her name and then 20th April 2019 your wife is in your fucking bio and her horoscope sign and also the date they got married so now I thought it was fake or or, you know, it's just probably a fan page because I make fun of brown uncles a lot And I thought one of you probably just made a stupid fan page just to like make fun of me to piss me off And that's okay. I'm all here for the jokes and the funs, but I'm gonna get into it more So you really know the full scoop, right? <gasps> His wife's an Aquarius. That's an Aquarius symbol, right? And I think the M is a Scorpio 
an Aquarius and his wife's Aquarius and that's his wife's name I'm just gonna like see my luck if any of you know who that is let her know <laughs> he said hello and I said halo back and then he replies with would love to get to go you better and then he says anyways I'm XYZ 31 years old anyone's uncle or dad is 31 years old named Philip might want to check him up for a second I really thought it was like my dad's friend and I even asked my dad I'm like dad do you by any any chance know any 31 year old Philip and he's like no thank fucking god because he looks like South Indian I'm South Indian and I oh shit I just can't put bronze around my bro but anyway um because he looks South Indian and I'm South Indian as well so I'm like checking everywhere how did this guy get my profile and why the fuck is he in my DMs the chances are if an ugly rat chases you that means you are an ugly rat and then I replied with great I'm 18 years old and where are you from I'm not 18 but I just wanted to test the water <laughs> I need him to stop with the British accent. Okay, and then he says, hey, I've known you for long. Hope you wouldn't mind. You've known me for long? No. And then I said, accept my request. I sent him a request on Instagram just to check who he is and if I know him from somewhere. And then he replied with, isn't age is just gap. Huh? What is that supposed to mean? And then he says, hope you are okay. Anyone following because I'm lost. And I replied with, oh, um, of course it is. I am okay. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know what the fuck is that he was just so anyways. He sent a picture of himself Ding 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 bitch. This ain't no red flag. It's a red billboard. I'm accidentally becoming a homewrecker I don't know how he sends me a picture of himself Looks very real looks very it's him and then I asked him where are you from? <laughs> Clearly I can tell where he's from because trust me you you'll be able to tell where he's from too And I asked him where are you from and then he says where are you from? And then I asked him wow are you Italian mixed with Greek? <laughs> he replies with no Indian mixed with Malay Malay I don't know what that is why you went so far meaning um, he thinks I'm like flirting with him way too hard because I put this emoji and he's like oh you're going too far do you know how fake this sounds it sounds like I'm making up shit I'm making up content I'm not like, he's in my fucking DMs yo. and then I follow him right this is his profile and it, it seems so authentic. It's him all over and he, he here's a picture with his friends here with another buddy of his I'm assuming it's his cousins. It can't it can be kids, but yeah, I'm assuming it's cousins and this is so fucking scary Okay, I'm gonna quickly dry my hair. Then, trust me guys don't fucking go anywhere. It gets juicier so Guys fun story time. Can you imagine Dyson not Dyson my bank my bank had a stupid competition about if you spend 500 bucks every day you get inside a raffle draw and I don't even know this. I was in India like last year. I was with my grandparents and playing with puppies. And one of the followers, they texted me. They're like, you won the giveaway. I'm like, what giveaway? I don't enter giveaways. And she's like, yeah, you entered a competition with the bank and they gifted you this. I was like, what? So I accidentally entered a giveaway and I won a fucking Dyson head dryer. Can I just say how amazing this is? I have super long, thick hair that goes all the way down my titties and... Look, it's still able to dry all of my hair in the matter of five minutes. I think it's a world record. This hair dryer is magical. Look, look at how smooth and frizz free my hair is. It's crazy. No hair straightener, just the Dyson hair dryer. Okay, let me just finish up uh, quickly and then I have to go meet Elise. I'm gonna take you guys with me for that. Okay, you need to stop. Like, the accent's getting out of hand. <laughs> okay, but, um, whoops. Okay, now let me just talk through the whole picture. I can't stop. It's, I'm addicted. Learn to enjoy every minute of your life. Be happy now. Don't wait for something outside of yourself to make you happy in the future. Think how really precious is the time you have to spend, whether it's at work or with your family. Every minute should be enjoyed and savored. That's it. That was a fucking caption which made no sense. The next picture, he has a caption, you don't choose your family, they are God's gift to you as you are to them. And then I'm like, accept request. He's like, I don't get it. Then I said, accept my Instagram request. And then he's like, okay, yap. <laughs> yap, accepted. Queen emoji. And so anyway, care for an intro. I want to share some songs I sang. I reply with, I'm good. Are you married? He goes like, uh, nope. Hope if I find someone nice and you. I don't have a screenshot of that, but I remember asking him, hey, can you like sing a song? Like whatever you wanted to sing to me. So he replies like, hmm, are you sure? Can I like seeing you in WhatsApp? I don't, I, I did get it in GarageBand. I can send it here. Okay. At this point, I don't think he's talking to me. I think he's talking to himself. And then he sends me the fucking audio. <laughs> What the fuck was that? 
I remember playing it cringing so hard that I had to stop. <laughs> Okay, and then um, I reply with, you're married. I should send this to your wife, X, Y, Z. I called her out with her actual first name. He's so fucking stupid, God. It's in his bio. That's how I connect the dots. I'm sure on the other end, he's thinking, how did this dumb bitch figure out my wife's first name? This might be another prison break episode for him. And then he replies with, still finding my best. He means he's still looking for a wife. And then I said, keep looking. This is so sad, your poor wife. And he just said, wife? Like I'm single, but I still felt like I was cheating on somebody. Like I felt horrible doing this. It was even disgusting to fake flirt. I wanted to like record this and vlog the whole thing, but I felt so disgusted. So I blocked him and um, later on the next day, I was like, let me let me see if he still continues the conversation. Now here's the juicy part, I go back to his profile, he deleted his whole bio. His whole bio, he had a chunky bio, it's gone. I'm sure he talked about it to one of his friends and his friends were like, you're so f***ing stupid. Obviously she put two and two together and she figured out that you're f***ing married, you idiot. He unsent the picture he sent me. Now if he was smart, he could have unsent the, like, the whole conversation from his side. But he only unsent the picture. He's so stupid, I can't, like, it looks like I'm making it up. Then um, I tried texting him again, I said yes wife over here and he didn't respond to that he stopped responding to me he stopped talking to me so i just blocked him again but yeah that's that's the most fun i've had in the last five days in quarantine and i thought of sharing it with you so i've done this in high school before but i know a friend of mine's friends 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 cheating on somebody i know it's not my business but i would go and snitch and get that girl out of the relationship if i'm married and my husband would do that i would want anybody I'd want a fucking pj to come up and tell me hey your husband's cheating on you and also recently <laughs> sorry i got had to get back into makeup i bought the fenty glow lip gloss and this is amazing and this is such a pretty class okay now i gotta go i gotta dress up but before we go i just want to talk to you for a second okay the reason i know when if you're gonna catch this guy i'll tell you why sometimes i really underestimate the power the internet holds because my tinder video you guys found the boy how I, I, how did you how did you do that because it was just his first name on tinder and his face and you guys found the guy you notified him about my video he found me and he follows me on instagram not only him i think his cousins and then the girl cousin the whole family follows me on instagram and i didn't even know this until i saw my notifications so i'm like oh my god it's the boy from tinder how how did you do that like i how i don't want to give out anything but his name is philip that's all i'm gonna say i can't say more because privacy policy on youtube but yeah that's the fun story about how antsy turned out to be accidentally a home record but yeah um i'm gonna go and get ready poor little lisa is waiting for me we are here <laughs> hello <laughs> hi oh my Wait, god I where are you? your masks and your gloves oh my god i missed you no, you smell good out. do i she's out i missed you too oh my god i'm filming what is it okay um, no. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my Thanks, god, your really? skin is glowing. Quarantine has done you good. <laughs> I know. So I have something juicy to tell you. Oh my god, what is it? You pregnant? No. <laughs> With who? Oh my god, <laughs> No, something better happened to me today. Guess who was in my DMs? Who's that little Indian guy from the circle? An Indian married uncle was in my DMs. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Prove it to you that I'm not making it up because it's so fake. I swear, fake. I haven't seen her in like, I don't know how long. Yeah, and I'm not making it up. Fuck you. This guy wants you. This guy wants the pink. Do you know what does that mean? This guy wants the he pink. wants. But can I just say, what does that mean? It, it lowers my value. Like he thinks he had a chance with me. He obviously doesn't think. He's just shooting his shot. And you fucking replied. <laughs> I always let the low quality men into my life. He goes. <laughs> she goes. Accept my Instagram request. And then he goes. Okay. Yep. Accept. Not yep. Yep. <laughs> Share some song I sang, and then she goes, "I'm good. Are you married?" <laughs> Have you been hit on by men your age? Do you get hit on? She's always old, creepy guys. Let's be real. Thank you. 
Thank you. I'm just being honest here. He's married men, old men hit on me since I was 16, like 15 going to school. That's like really like fucked up. There was a time I was coming from the metro, like I used to take the metro to school and I took the metro and this guy, he did this to me. I he taught Ugh. Why do people do that I so ugly? We left or right, like 95, and he did that to me. And I was That's so fun. young, and I didn't know what that meant. And then I, I was talking to a bunch of boys. I that, feel like I only recently found out what the fuck that meant. Yeah, it is like, it's so <laughs> disgusting. And I went to, I was talking to a bunch of boys, and I'm like, oh, hey, your skin is amazing. Thank you. Really? You have, like, no I have one acne spot. <laughs> We're so stupid. She literally has like nothing on her face right now. <laughs> Why do I see cops in the back? But anyway. I think oh yeah, they always check people's masks there. The thing is like if you keep touching it, like the, they say that there's germs on the hands and then you touch it on your face when you put the mask on. It's like so long. There is no germs in hands. I have germs <laughs> in my DMs. <laughs> is, is it like an Instagram cop that I can I contact? Am, I'm insulted for you. I know. I'm so embarrassing. Insulted. And do you know what? When I make stories like this, like I get comments like, oh, she's just so flattered. I'm like, honey, I wish you could see this picture. She's just trying to, you guys, like honestly, like it's just... Disgusting. Can they just say that there's nothing to be flattered over. Right no, I've, I've never been hit on by a guy who's with, hot. Yeah. And okay, the time we were walking in the beach, remember in La Mer? Oh my it? god, yes. Yeah, always like these creepy old guys that literally don't have a chance. No, at all. there were these men with their wives beside them and they were looking at us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what was that all about? Why do you look so These secret? are. Where were you going? I was just filming on this. I just meeting a secret date. I want to get the coffee that you got. Okay. And, and I want to get the donuts here. <laughs> the bowls. The bowls. The, the, the bowls. <laughs> the bowls, guys. The chocolate bowls. Bro, you're not hanging out with you two idiots. I've caught on such bad British accents. Like, to my dad, I was talking to him one day. I'm like, what you doing? Why are you here? My dad's like, what the fuck is that? What do you mean? And I'm like, dad, it's just oh daily. God. I've picked up on some really bad British accent. I'm trying to be like her. Guys, I just want to talk about it here because we can, we, it's the only time we can bitch about Lily because she's not here. She's not here. She's such a liar when it comes to Monopoly. She's such a cheat in Monopoly. She's like, such honestly. a cheater. I didn't see this, but she posted like, on her story like, uh, where we Oh my like, god, what did you post that Andy cheats? I was like, and I was like, excuse me, I cheated. Can I just say, we had, I had 26 million in my account. Then we had like 2k, okay. Like and and she, but she had a lot of property and then she was like, I have more property than you, I'm more richer. And and I'm she was like, basically broke. She was broke. She, she, was, she lost twice with us. Yeah. And she still tried to cheat and we were like, no honey, can't do that. What's your Spanish white chocolate coffee? I'm not getting it. Do you want it? Yeah. Um, can we get one Spanish latte? That's ice. Funny. Yes. Less yeah. ice, less ice. Less ice. Uh, white chocolate with Oreo. The topping. chocolate donut. Chocolate sorry, donut. yeah. I'm sorry, I, I don't get you. We don't have the stoppings, mom. Oh my god. Why did this always happen? It's always Oh my god, he, he's so close into getting into we my. We don't mouth. have the uh, with toppings, mom. Just only the. Uh, no. Just the donut? Just the donut only. No! We came all the way. We came, we drove for five hours. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We drove for an hour. But <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Do you want to still get it? Like, I, I will get one. Okay, we'll get one. One. Do you want to get something to drink? It's fine, we're good. We'll just get one, yeah. Only one nice Spanish. One donut. One no. nice Spanish, one donut. Oh, sure. yeah. 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 Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Second time, so I was nearly hit into the car. Oh, yeah, how scary that was. He, he was so close to my I'm car. pretty sure he like touched the car. No, he didnn't. He was like so close. <laughs> First of all, he was driving a, like a huge ass Jeep. Like my in Nissan Patrol. That's like a huge. Huge. And my car is like, <laughs> like I haven't seen him in so long. I know, I think it's been a month. So guys, lockdown is lifted here. That's why we're like hanging outside. Let's go <laughs> Lily. See what she's up to. Yeah, bye. What are you doing? <clears throat> Oh, are you? Yeah, what's up? Do you even know who this is? This what? What? You both together? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it's your own fucking sister? Maybe take a guess? Sit down. <laughs> what? It's your sister, babes. <laughs> yeah, I know you. What? Are we gonna play games? Uh, yeah, I have to have you at 10 Yeah, babes, we can play for an hour and then I have to be back home. Did you have coffee like decaf? No, we don't have You can't read decaf. Yeah, like that that good. Lady, like, no one's like, oh, I you know. Know. <laughs> What is she selling? Fruits? Oh, no thanks. <laughs> no one's gonna come to your shop, sorry. <laughs> we don't want fruit. <laughs> There's this lady who's just like, hi, can you please order from us? And we're like, we don't want food though. I can't believe you thought that was the donut we wanted. So we asked, like, you guys know that I ordered this basket full of freaking mini donuts with toppings and Oreo toppings all over, like white chocolate. And this is the donut they gave us, which is not the best. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 10, 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> the shit out of me. gonna back into oh my god he's going he's a depressor it is right okay yeah, let me get him i mean seriously today would be nice <laughs>
this guy is wearing jeans and a sweater. Is he not dying right now? <laughs> oh my god, can we just talk, talk about your bags for a minute? I want to have this conversation with you. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I posted the video. I'm like, guys, go check out the bag video. I'm so excited for you to see it. Lady and say, what the f is that? We hate the bags. The bags, all of them I suck. I just want to say I really love the video. Yeah, I know. I think you should do more unboxings because it was fucking hilarious. It was great. Because I was pretending to be Lily's with that. Person. It was amazing. I loved it. I think people assume that I bought those weird cereal milk bags. Um, I got it in PR. It's a brand called Doll Scale. They were in LA. I met up with them. I love Doll Scale. Oh, you know them? Yeah, they have a really cute bag. Yeah, and I went to uh, Doll Scale in LA with my friends and they were like, oh, you're a blogger. We'll give you free bags and stuff like that. And they gave me the crazy bunch, which I love. Loved. Like I love the bags. Yeah. Oh god. Oh. Oh my god. This guy. He's giving up he's, on the pavement. He's like, look at this guy. I don't know if yeah, you can see. Look what is that. he doing? What? I, I just, know. He's I just, like all the way closer to the shops. Look at that. I personally is don't he understand. Here? Thank God, finally. Listen, it's it's weird because I had the cheap uh, Shein Forever bags and I got killed for it. So I'm just here like, okay, sweetie, so I can't buy bags because poor people stitched it. She can't buy bags because um, it's taken off a lizard's skin. Do you know what? Everyone's going to be unhappy some way or the other. You really can't please everyone. So I'm just going to take one of my mom's, like, sorry, stitch it into a fucking bag <laughs> and carry it in one of those branch sticks I've seen. <laughs> I've seen in like villages <laughs> so I'm gonna just do that oh so, that, so that way everyone loves me 